That's nicely placed. Beating Chatfield at third man. That pad has been brought in to put some extra pressure on Keppel Dev. 3-4-1-1-8 Hadley. Got into Vensaka. Slashed away for four. Uh, Hadley at the start gave these fellas absolutely no room at all. Couple dev, the man taking strike, gave him no room at all in the early overs. Uh, there's a bit of room there. Outside the off stump and short. Brilliant stroke again. Hadley's too short and too wide. Well, the Indians are dancing in the aisles. They're loving every every second of this Kapodev. Of course, a big hero in India. Oh no! Now that could be the match. John Reed. At mid-off, beautifully bowled by Hadley, the slow ball. Everything went right, except that it came out of Reed's hands. Yes, it has hit quite firmly, but it was straight to him, and it's the sort of catch that any test player should take. Shot. Now that's adding a little bit of insult to a lot of injury. Oh, this is magnificent cricket. Kapil Dev at his very, very best. Sneddon to Van. Hadley back into the attack. He's had his first three overs, all maidens. And Srikanth all at sea against him. And Kapil's caught hold of that one. With just one bounce and over the rope. But I don't think he hit it in the middle. But still almost carried to the longest boundary on the ground. There's the slower ball. He hasn't quite got that one in the middle. And it will pitch just like a wedge shot going into the green. And that's the 50 for Kepel Dev and the 200 coming up for India. And uh, we could be well on the way to a replay of the 1983 World Cup final. Keppel Dev uh, strikes the winning blow. It'll just be a single. Ball will stop short of the boundary. And so India claim victory in the 44th over. And they go through to the final. And the Indians are really on the warpath.